Hey Virgos, we have a big full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces opposite your sign in the very sensitive seventh house of other people. What does this mean for you? We're going to discuss the astrology, pull some tarot and find out. So keep watching. So Virgos, welcome to the channel or welcome back. So awesome to see you here. So the full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces is happening at 25 degrees conjunct Neptune within three degrees. So especially if you were born later in the sign of Virgo, obviously around the 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, maybe even the 16th, um, this energy is lighting up a big spotlight opposite your sun. So you could really be feeling the energy coming at you, so to speak, from people in your world opposite you. So on the other side, could be literally on the other side, like across the rainbow bridge, but that's more eighth house energy. But people in your life who you have dealings with, who you sit across the table from. Now, it could be personal relationships like, you know, love or romance, but it can also be business colleagues. It could be somebody you have daily convos with. It could be some sort of networking group affiliation, especially since Mars is in your 11th house right now in Cancer, kind of stirring the pot, agitating maybe how you're feeling about certain connections in your life. So there is a big spotlight and opportunity to look outside you and see who is still fitting in your world, who still meshes with your vibe and who doesn't. Now, this lunar eclipse is conjunct Neptune. Neptune can be a great influence. It can be very spiritual and imaginative, but Neptune also has energies of illusions and delusions. So this full moon lunar eclipse, eclipses illuminate, right? Of course, it's a partial eclipse. It's not a total eclipse, but um, it is bringing to light and helping you eliminate eclipse out People in your life who may be fibbers, liars, cheaters, they may be very delusional. They could have some delusional addictive habits or something. There could be some sort of um, person, place, thing, situation that is draining your energy. And like that really comes to light at this full moon. And you realize maybe you've been kidding yourself that that's going to change. You may have to take a step to let it go. Maybe the universe will remove it naturally for you. It's a possibility. You might want to go back in your archives and remember what was going on for you in September 2016. We had a full moon lunar eclipse at that time in Pisces at 24 degrees. So very close to the 25th degree where, where we're having it now. So there may be energetic echoes of situations and stuff that was going on in September 2016. It doesn't mean that situations are exactly going to repeat this time, but there could just be you know, a similarity in vibe, shall we say. Now, lunar eclipses are usually associated with women, feminine energy. So it could be that an important female or feminine influence energy departs the scene from your life around this time. So again, you got to apply the energy to your life. Could be friend, mother, aunt, sister, I mean, whomever. And it doesn't mean anything super negative either. It can just mean maybe they got a job and they're going to be moving across the country, you know, something like that. Something could be changing in the lie in the life of a woman close to you that affects you in some way, like a departure, you know, like I said, moving or something like that. But also you could be really realizing that you need to cut the cord with somebody who's sucking your energy a hungry ghost that can be neptune energy also all right so let's see let's see what we got for you we're going to start with this shadow and light deck i'll leave a link to it in the description i love this deck it's like two sides of the same coin so we'll get an energetic vibe and then we'll pull some tarots for you what do we have for the virgos oh wow cool card number 12 we have planning and destiny So I think this goes with, you know, there's people who are in your life for a season, a reason, a lifetime. So you can plan all you want, but if there is a parting of the ways, if you're not destined to continue the journey together or to be as close, because again, maybe somebody's moving away, 
you know, you, you can be like this all you want, but you can't stay in the, stay, stand in the way of destiny, so to speak. So, and interestingly, we have the number 12 because that is associated with Pisces. So there is, I, there is some sort of chapter wrapping up with a female energy in your life, I feel. Um, it's gonna, you know, and we, she has a wedding dress on here. So that's interesting. It could be the same, by the same token, maybe a friend of yours got married recently or they're about to get married and maybe you're still single. I mean, it can be something like that. Um, it could be that this person's life is going in a different direction now. They may not be hanging out with you as much. You know, these things happen in life. It doesn't mean that people hate each other or whatever. You know, there's just natural life transitions and changes that happen where people grow apart. And there could be something like that going on for you. Now, I'm going to say one other thing. If you're dealing with a romance situation, um, again, it's an eclipse. So something might go out. If this person, if you want to have a committed relationship, if you want a marriage material type relationship, right? The writing could be on the wall that this person is not it because it's an eclipse. It takes something out. So you may, you may face an unfortunate truth about somebody in your life that their commitment, maybe you were kidding yourself about their commitment to you or a relationship. You know, maybe they, they don't want to go the distance with, uh, you know, moving in together or marriage or something like that. Okay. Again, you don't want to fight this energy. You can't, I mean, it's, it's, it's in a, I mean, it, I don't know. I believe in free will. I absolutely do. The planets don't tell us what to do. We have choices, but sometimes there are faded events. There are things that happen that yet they're outside of our control. We have a choice in terms of how we choose to respond or react. And, you know, there is a lot of surrender energy that comes with this eclipse. So let's see what we need to know for you. The Virgos. The Fool. Uh, the Seven of Swords. Okay. And then this, again, the Seven. Number Seven. The Seventh House we're talking about here. Knight of Wands in your heart. The Ten of Wands. And the Star. Okay. So something is going to be brought to your attention that will ultimately heal you and free you from an energetic burden, okay, with this Ten of Wands and this Knight of Wands in your heart. Um, I, I, you know, Virgos, you are the most kind people on the planet. You really are. You really, I love Virgos. Uh, I mean, I love all the signs, but I mean, I think Virgos get a bad rap sometimes. Um, but... I feel like, you know, sometimes the fool with this combination here, it can be that somebody took you for a fool and took advantage of your good nature. I think this full moon is absolutely bringing out something from the shadows of somebody close to you. It's an unsavory truth, I think, the seven of swords. They've been hiding something. I think it's going to come out. It could be you were hiding your own feelings from them about something. I mean, that's possible. Maybe you wanted to break free from the situation. Um, but in any case, I don't like this fool next to the seven of swords. Um, I think they played you for a fool, but you're going to nip it in the bud. See, this is the thing, you know, sometimes lunar eclipses, they, they do, they can have a protective influence. They're taking something out of your life that if it continued would do more damage. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. There's this idea of surrender, like don't fight what's going on. The universe, I believe is ultimately protective. The problem is with our human nature, right? We just always want to know, especially if you have a Scorpio moon like I do, right? It's like, we always want to know why. We want to know what is going on, right? But sometimes you don't find that out till later. Sometimes you never find out. And there's such an, an essence of trust we have to have and belief and faith. In my opinion, this is just my opinion, that the universe is benevolent and it has our best interests at heart because sometimes on the surface, it's painful and it doesn't look that way. Oftentimes, though, I would say 90% of the time, as time goes on, you see that fork in the road, realizing that person was a seven of swords, liar, jerky face. You're like, oh, thank God I found that out. Thank God the full moon revealed where I was being foolish and silly in believing that person. I mean, it's not foolish and silly to believe in someone, right? Of course not. That's not what I'm saying. Let me, let me reframe that. But where... 
If you continued, it would have been foolish and silly after the truth was revealed. Okay. All right. Let's make that clear because your heart is genuine. You got the Knight of Wands in your heart. Like you're going to move on quickly from this. You're not going to dawdle around. And once this is revealed, okay, because there has been some sort of burden here, this Ten of Wands, you haven't wanted to see it. You've been carrying a lot of an emotional load. I think you want your freedom. The Fool is about freedom as well. And then we have this beautiful star, which is so gorgeous. It's about following a new destined path. It is about healing. It's also, you know, the star can be about honoring your uniqueness, right? The Aquarian energy, but also, um, you know, honor honoring yourself as the beautiful star that you are and only shining your light and sharing your light with those who truly value it and value you. And I, I, that's what I feel. I feel like there's something coming out here. So the, the sixth house is represented here for you with the Aquarian energy. So this lunar eclipse is going to help you look out for your well-being as well, right? It could be because you have this ton of wands that's before it, that this was starting the situation with this person whoever it is, was, was starting to really affect your well-being, not just mentally or emotionally, but maybe also physically. Like maybe you're feeling more tired. You were just, because you, you were maybe absorbing their energy. Um, so you're going to have this sense of renewal of don't look back. You know, Knight of Wands moves fast. Once they see what's going on, like they, they get out of there. So you're getting out of there very quickly. You're going to release this and you're going to move toward a beautiful destined healing for yourself with this star. All will be well, all is well. Okay, so with this planning destiny energy here going on, seriously, plan for yourself. Plan a new beginning for yourself without this energetic mishagas that's been kind of hanging on to you. I mean, look at this energy. Just look at this card. I don't have the crazy lights on because I'm filming a little late right now, but um, this is... This is really kind of a creepy card, actually. And the person looks a little insane. If it's hard to see their face in this, but they they have a mask on and they they're they just they look a little a little cray cray. Um <laughs> you're escaping something uh, a little uh what's the word I want? Unsavory. So you're heading towards something much better with this star here. Okay, so very interesting energies, Virgo. Honor your journey toward health and wellness and healing and letting go of any type of energy that has been a drain on you coming from other people, other people just pulling, pulling, pulling at your energy. Especially, I think, in your friend circle, okay? Because of that Mars agitating that 11th house, um, but Mars is in a supportive trine because it's in water now. So whatever Mars helps to reveal as well, it is <laughs> it is about drawing out and drawing forth the frenemies to get them out of your get a, get them out of your orbit, Virgo. You don't need them. Okay. All right, Virgos, I love you guys. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on for you. I'm sorry, I'm filming this a little late. I'm trying to get these videos done. I'm, I'm stumbling over my words. Maybe I need a cup of coffee, but I, I think I'm gonna go to bed early. I've been kind of working, <laughs> working all day on videos. I'm a little tongue-tied right now. Uh, not my usual eloquent uh, self, but uh, you got this, Virgo. Be, just be gentle with yourself. I would take a little, I mean, full moon lunar eclipses, it's a good idea for us to kind of chase all of us just to take a step back a little bit, but. For, definitely protect your energy right now. And if people are making demands on you, like they're demanding stuff and whatever, like really start to draw those boundaries as well. And you could even have a situation like that where you do set a boundary. You're taking care of yourself with that star card and somebody keeps poking and pushing at you and maybe even even telling a fib seven of swords to try to, to get you to re-engage or get you to do something for them that's in their interest, but not yours. And this could come to a head. This is the type of situation that can come to a head at this full moon lunar eclipse. So take care of yourself first. <laughs> Say no to all demands. <laughs> Do you rest and uh, all will be well. All right. 
If you feel so inclined, a Virgo, to hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment, share the video. It really helps the engagement on the channel and helps the YouTube algorithm push the video out to more people, which really helps out my channel. And I'm so grateful if uh, that occurs and you do that for me. I really appreciate it. So Virgos, I will see you again soon. I have a lot of other videos percolating in the pipeline, uh, little surprises. I hope you will enjoy. Um, but in the meanwhile, take a deep breath. Know how much you're loved and valued by me. All right. I will see you again soon, Virgo. Take care. Stella Wilde signing out.